Hello, we are the Saris and Secrets team, and uh, thanks to the British Council and the Connections to Culture Grant, we've come together to put together this um, immersive online theatre performance over Zoom. Uh, before we talk a bit about the work, I'd like us to just sort of introduce ourselves and our roles. Abi, why don't we start with you? Hi, I'm Abi Arumbakam. I am based in the UK. I am an independent um, creative practitioner. And your role yeah. in this production? Oh, in this project, I am the creative producer. Awesome. And over to you, Sumitra. Hi there, I'm Sumitra Salvaraj. I am a writer and a PR consultant based out of Malaysia. But for Saris and Secrets, I am the writer and performer. And then there's me. My name is Dinesh Katagesu. I'm a queer multidisciplinary storyteller and theater maker. And uh, my role in this production is as director. And I also sort of like facilitate this conversation that the three of us are going to have as we talk a bit about the making of this work and where it can potentially go from here. So first question really is to you, Abhi, first, is how did this collaboration begin? Please enlighten us. How did it all come together? Um, I subscribed to British Council's newsletters. Um, so there was a call out uh, back in autumn last year um, asking for... Um, um, ideas for projects uh, from British uh, creative practitioners and working with um, other creatives based in about I think seven Southeast Asian countries and I was looking through the list and I was looking to find out is if there's there was anyone that I knew in any of these countries and I and the answer was there was, I knew no one <laughs> I'm like, well, you know there must be somebody and then I, I saw the Malaysia was on the list and I um, um, and I'm one of uh, um, Sumitra's several thousand acolytes who follow her on Instagram. I like a teaser about that. Um, so I thought, oh, right. Well, how about I uh, reach out to her and ask if um, she would be interested in a collaboration? I would, my, at that point, my only hope was that she wasn't, you know, she, she didn't think that I was some kind of a scammer. Um, you know, um, so yeah, so that was my only hope. So I said, you know, if she would be interested in uh, collaborating on an artistic, pro artistic project. Um, uh, the, the thing to my advantage was that I have a fellowship, uh, which gives my, uh, and if you Google my name, a few good things come up, luckily for me. Um, so <laughs> nothing naughty. It's all hidden away in page three or four. Don't go there. But uh, yeah, so the, so that kind of uh, helped my um, my email qu my my query, I suppose. Um, she was. Um, should, do you want me to talk about what her reaction was, or would you rather leave it to Sumitra to say? Yeah, I think Sumitra can come in. I, I believe she has the actual DM that she's going I to pull do. up. I do. I pulled it up on the twelfth of August at 7.52 p.m. I receive a DM saying, hi, Sumitra, do you know of any Malaysian artist, cultural, professional, creative practitioner who would be interested in putting in a bid with me for this call out? And Abi had uh, linked the British Council's uh, Connections Through Culture grant application pro process. And I think quick as a flash, because you know I don't think there's any time that's passed between these messages. I've said, hello, Abi, I can connect with Dinesha Kartige, so a theater maker and poet. Immediately, that was the first thing that I said. <laughs> okay. And I said, and I shared your Instagram um, account, and um, and I said, but perhaps you could explain to him what the the project will be like. And and you know, Abi said, you know, wonderful. And she said, you know, let me know if there are any other uh, people that you have in mind. And then she she was almost about to to sign off. She was saying she was saying thank you, and then she said, equally, Sumitra, what about you? Is this something that would be of interest to you? And I was extremely honest in saying, it does sound interesting, but I would not have a clue as to what to work on. I am terribly unacademically inclined for things like this. Um, but Abby, as I have come to learn, is persistent as she is passionate. And she said, let's just have a chat. Let's just have a chat and let's see what comes out of it. And within a couple of days, I think, uh, three of us were uh, together on a, a Zoom call. And and yeah, I, I remember kind of trying to explain to you the nature, the bare bones of, of what this, this project was. But honestly, I didn't have a clue. So I, I don't know how I sounded when I reached out to you. You let me know. 
I, I think it, for me, it was just this, like, it came out of nowhere, right? Like, it was this a sudden project. So, we're just asking me, UK person, and I'm Googling Abi and Abi, you're right. There are only good things in your online. Um, no, and I'm Googling Abi and Bakam, and I'm like, oh, wow, okay, very cool, very cool. And then I think what really sold it was, I think the both of you had a call, and then Sumitra and I had a call. And then when the three of us sat on a call together, and we kind of went, this could work. This, mm-hmm. this could actually be a thing. And, and many, 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 many Zoom calls and Google Meet calls later, we're done with a show, which is wild when you think about it. Um, Abi, I really want to ask, because I think Sumitra and I, because we're both in Malaysia and while you're in the UK, Sumitra and I eventually got to the point where we could physically be together, me, you know, showing up to Sumitra's house and demanding coffee and, um, you know, moving around the space. And so we had this, uh, I guess, the opportunity to, to work locally, right, without having to think about remote. But what's it been like for you, completely remote, pulling all of this together and making this happen? What's that been like? Yeah, the, in many ways, I felt I was missing out on a lot of the excitement to be there. You know, theater is is live. You know, it is there. It is, and once it, the, minute, the minute is lost, it's lost. It's not, um, and so that I felt, you know, oh God, I'm not there. I'm not there physically. So that was that was, um, you know, definitely uh, one of the drawbacks uh, of being remote. And also, you know, I'm a team of one. You know, and that's always not fun. You know, however much I tell my family, my friends, this is what happened. They can't partake of it, you know, in quite the same way as the people that are directly involved in the project and go, oh, that wasn't that exciting. So that is always a, a bit of a drawback. But um, I think the, I, I think the pluses uh, are that, you know, you get a chance to work with somebody such as you both um, in, you know, cross the other side of the wor- uh, other side of the world in a different time zone completely. Um, and not have to jump on a plane. Um, you know, what are the chances of that? So I think that there are um, there are definite um, minuses. You know, I and and also I think pluses. Um, uh, don't for, don't forget, we, none of us. Have, I mean, I've not met either of you in person. Mm-hmm. Um, and I and to think that we've done this collaboration without ever having met in person is just completely mind boggling. You know. Um, so yeah. Mm. And, and so, you know, I love that you've sort of led us in the direction of actually the show itself and the final product and us heading in that direction. So I do have to ask, what is, if you only could think of one thing, what is everyone's most favorite, memorable moment of the show, of the process, of this project, anything? What would you say is one thing that was incredibly memorable for each of us and each of you? I'll go first. Mm. Um, for me, it was... Um, funnily enough, everything that we did that was not connected to the show. We spent weeks and weeks and weeks of writing, uh, throwing prompts at each other, uh, the, both of you throwing prompts at me, really, and, and the both of you gamely participating in, in the writing process as well. And really, it, it was while we had kind of agreed early on, September, October, maybe, that, oh, we're going to be doing something called Saris and Secrets. For about two months, we didn't do anything called Saris and Secrets. We just wrote. We wrote everything else except Saris and Secrets. And I I loved the freedom and I loved the the, the creative expression of, of that period because it made me feel like all roads will eventually lead to Saris and Secrets, but we can take our time down those roads. So that was my favorite part. Yeah, I can jump on that and I can add, um, mine would also be those moments when, you know, either of you or me gave a prompt and then went away and wrote something for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, came back, shared, and then, you know, um, uh, react to that and then went away and wrote again, came back, react. I think that was brilliant because um, I, when I put, you know, yes, the application did say we will have a show um when we finally did put in but uh for me that process was almost more important than one show because the learnings from that um were were way more because what it then allows you to see is uh, the sense of possibility and also be 
less attached to the to an idea of perfection and and genuinely uh, and i have said it multiple times to smitra and to you for me the idea of play is playing playing having fun having and not being afraid to fail or whatever that is and to not have it work and that's okay because you're playing children when you see them playing with clay or they don't they're not they're not they're not constrained by this idea of a perfection um and i really wanted to recapture that some of that and that those were my that was those were my favorite favorite moments yeah yeah and i think i mean because you were constantly reminding us you know when when sibitra and i were worried or and and abhi was like it's all right it's okay it's okay you know it's, it's okay. okay you know cuz i think it helped that you know you really set into that producer role cuz there were so many moments where we were like oh god we need to go somewhere and ah. like, it's okay just play yes. right and that obviously helped us and so for me yes definitely those memories of just us sitting and writing and talking together always a yes but i think for me to offer a contrasting memory is when everything started coming together right when when all of the pieces started coming together when we started having a show when when i was in sumitra's place with the camera and we're shooting stuff and when all of those pieces started coming together and they were showing it all to you excitedly abhi were like oh look at this oh look at this <laughs> like to me those were the most fun because it felt like we had built to something and then we're doing something and we get to show it to you you know mm. I, i think for me those were the most memorable um mm. sumitra so my next question is actually now that sarees and secrets is out in the world uh you know people have watched it and people get to watch the recording and things like that what do you think are the most important messages insights connected to this writing right so this is just writer as a performer what do you think is so important about this work that you really want people to take away and know hmm so sorrows and secrets um hinged very much on the idea that we all have um we all have secrets we all have things that we hold on to that we want to be able to set free right and so i think the the most important thing that has come out um from this performance is that um it's not just about the performer it's about the audience as well that the audience has as much to share as the performer does and i'm really glad that we chose this um this medium that we did zoom um and that we utilized so many different um tools within it because it became so clear that the audience had more things to share than i did um and and so that is what has come out of it for me that it's possible to create theater or a theatrical experience that is as audience important as it is performer important thank you abi is there anything you'd like to add to that if you have i'm very glad that you 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 um said that mitra because um, one of the one of the observations that someone made uh, of my work is that it tends to be participative so it's 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 this is what i have come bring your experience your lens to it and now take away and what have you got what have you got so that is i didn't realize that they saw that in so in that sense so um i'm for me it feels very true to the kind of stuff that i would make yeah mm-hmm. and but also it's you know it's uniquely yours and yours in asia and your your you know direction to that so yeah absolutely yeah dream work makes the dream work yeah. um, so so this is the, this is the portion of our conversation where i get to prepare and i'm karan johar and this is coffee with karan <laughs> so this is the rapid fire round there is no hamper to be won um but there's two questions okay so the first question is in one word what has your experience working on sarees and secrets been catharsis 100% learning hmm. my learning has been exponential in many ways so yeah it's learning i would say i'm i'm going to cheat a bit as the as the person who asked the question i'm going to say space holding Yeah, with a with a dash, with a dash in the middle. Is it dash? <laughs> Is hyphenated words allowed? Hyphenated words. Yeah, I'm the host. I can do it. Um, next question. <laughs> You're in a poet. One... You can know it. I can. Yeah, make it work. Make it work. Uh, next question. In one sentence, what would you say you learned from this experience? And this is obviously connected to what you said, Abi. Right? How much it was learning. Uh, to not be too precious. 
with ideas. To um, I surprise myself by how much I let go. So you have to not be too precious about ideas. Hmm. Smita? That I don't have a comfort zone anymore. Ooh. And Denisha? Yeah. I think for me, it was a reminder that when you make time and space for, for work and art and conversation, uh, inspiration and art will show up. Oh, yeah. beautiful. That was brilliant. That yeah. is beautiful. fantastic. I think for me, it was that very much that. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, okay, final question so that you know, anybody who's watching this kind of gets an idea of where, where Sorry and Secrets could possibly go from here, right? I know it's early days. We don't really have anything yet, but I think the question I really want to ask is, um, where would you like Saris and Secrets to go? You know, um, where would you like it to go? What do you see it becoming? Uh, what are all the ideas and possibilities that you're playing with at the moment? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but there could be a physical show and I'm trying to see how that would shape, where that would be shown. Um, but there is definitely there are possibilities, if not, you know, in the in its current form, um, it would definitely need to be um, taken out. You know, it, 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 we can definitely start looking at taking it out of, you know, the space and see, yeah, where you know, see if there is a uh, if it can be brought out of the screens into lives yeah can look explore that yeah yeah so just tell us when so we try and i will pack our bags um <laughs> we're ready to come to the uk <laughs> <laughs> yes uh Sumitra? i'm gonna be um i'm going to be specific Ooh. georgetown okay edinburgh okay so a, a fest, two festivals, yes. The, the Georgetown Arts Festival in Penang, Malaysia. Yep. In, of course, Edinburgh in the UK. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, fantastic. Look at her. Yes. Fly, nice. Yeah, I think for me, it's the, the knowing that this, this work has, has, has made an impact for people, you know, our audiences and people who watched it and even the people who are sharing on the Instagram page and things like that. I think for me, just knowing that like it feels like we planted a seed right mm -hmm. now it's to see where this what what grows right is it a durian tree or a banana tree or a mango tree who knows what that tree looks like but i feel like a tree is growing and so i'm excited to see where it takes us whether it takes us to festivals or live or we figure out a way to combine the two and make it a hybrid and that yes. allows people across the world to watch while a live is happening yeah i think for me i'm just really excited to play Right now, we've played in one venue, and I'm curious how we can play in other venues. Exactly. And other really, spaces. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, particularly, yeah, I really liked um, how you handled the whole thing, Ganesha, because I think um, um, <clears throat> um, I am remote, I'm away, you know, physically, and also, yeah, and Sumitra is perhaps too close to the subject. She is the writer and the performer, which is always a tricky thing. You were just perfect in in being sufficiently far, um, but also, you know, enough, but, but also you had a sense of benign dictatorial tone in directing the whole thing. And, and I think that's, that, that's really changed the, the tone of the, the, the piece, yeah, to a, lot, to, to a great degree, yeah. Thank you, Abhi. I really appreciate that. And I think I can, on behalf of what I think Sumitra and I, I'm really glad you slid into Sumitra's DM. I think I am so glad. Best sliding into a DM ever. Ever. <laughs> ever, ever. Do it again, Abby. Nobody Do it again. Nobody <laughs> will ever come close at this point. <laughs> Because that choice to to you know to come in to do that to ask Sumitra and then Sumitra asking me and the, the the choice to do that in August last year has been such a wonderful six plus months or so for me as director and for us as creatives it's it's been such a joy to likewise mm, i'd second that i'll second uh, that to, yeah. to make this work and now it's like oh where can we go what happens now yeah what happens now? can i can i add one more thing abby i i think i i think it's really important for me to say this um 
I know I've said it before, but I, I'm going to say it again because this is so, so vital to me. Saris and Secrets would not have been possible without you. So thank, oh, you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. And Super. thank you, Sumitra, for being incredibly honest and vulnerable really. with the I writing and the performing. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Totally. Had it it's been not anybody easy. else, any other writer, performer, person, um, you know, there would have been walls and you didn't have yes. those walls and you just welcomed not just us, but also audiences into your stories and spaces. And that helped a lot. I think it really made people feel really comfortable. It's very, it's very, I, I am, I'm, I said, I'm, um, I am, um, you know, if I fail and I'm not afraid to fail and I have failed spectacularly, um, I don't have, I'm not very visible. I don't have a big platform, you know, um, they're hidden away in pages three and four of Google search. So well, if, so, <laughs> now don't go looking. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if Sumitra, you know, was to was to fall and if it was to flop, then she would have, you know, it, it is very visible and it's very um, and it's not easy. And so, and that, for that reason, a lot of people would shy away from taking chances, you know, and play it safe. And um, so, for you to be vulnerable, that's what, you know, and to kind of say, you know, I'll take a chance on go out on a limb on something and try something that I haven't done before and have it. And risk it failing is a big deal. And when you, you know, um, and and the, what we often forget is that when when people are risking everything, the audience wants you to do well. Audience wants the audience is on your side. Um, so then, yeah, so that was proven. So well done, well done, Sumitra, for going up, going out on the Thank you. and answering Thank my you. DMs. <laughs> yes, and answering the DMs. Yes. Yes. Um, with that, we've actually come to the end of this little video discussion conversation. Um, signing off for now, and until we see you again, we are the Saris and Secrets team. Bye-bye.